De regreso aquí en Auto 060 y vamos a... We're going to switch now to English. So here at the Concept Lab in Pebble Beach and uh, looking at something that looked like the GT40. It, it is. Uh, it's, the chassis is off a of GT40. This is Galpin Ford's idea, the, the evolution uh, from the Ford GT to what would it be like to now if, they had, if Ford had continued the process. No, this is made by Galpin, which is in Van Nuys, California. We've been customizing cars since the mid-50s, and what we have here is the chassis of a Ford GT, but the front end's been redesigned, the rear end's been redesigned, and even the interior. We um, have uh, the same 5.4 liter V8 engine that Ford had used. It's a bulletproof engine, but we've twin turbocharged it. So now we're getting 1,050 horsepower out of the car. Wow, how many? 1,050 horsepower. Oh my God. 739 pound feet of torque. Zero to 60 in the car is 3.1 seconds. Zero to 106.8, and you're passing 200 miles an hour in 18.2 seconds. So obviously, if you have uh, have those numbers, it's a drivable concept. Yeah, it's. Oh, this is not a concept. <laughs> this is an actual production car. Oh, okay. We're going to be making anywhere between six, a minimum of six, no more than 24 of these vehicles. We can customize the exterior paint shop however you want, all the interior, what the the uh, customer wants, but true. Really the remarkable thing about this car, besides uh, Galpin Ford designing for the first time their own car, is really the braking system that they've decided to go with on the vehicle. You need it for those um, thousand and uh, plus thousand horsepower. horsepower. You need that type yeah. of braking system. And what we have here is a carbon carbon braking system. Wow. It is the first production car to have such a system. The only other vehicles in the world to have such a system is an F-22 Raptor fighter jet, a 787 Dreamliner, and a true F-1 race car. Wow. So we brought that to the streets. So what are we talking about regarding price here? Price-wise, for the carbon fiber full body, it's $1,024,000. And then for the aluminum body that you see here, $1,224,000. And you said a very limited production, right? Very limited production globally, only 24 mount at max. Yeah. So at one point, they're going to be on the other side of the lawn here at that Pebble Beach, huh? Yeah. <laughs> In some years. Yes, absolutely. We, we would love to see that happen. Excellent. And where can an audience find more about your company, please? Uh, Galpin Autosports, galpinford.com is a good place to look up. Cuando regresemos la próxima semana vamos a tener más información, más entrevistas aquí en Auto 060 con Javier Mota. Esto es Cristina Radio Network. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.